Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another mommy related video. I know some of you really like these, so I decided to do another one. And I personally really love routine videos, so I wanted to do like a mommy video with a routine because best of both worlds. I'm sorry if it's echoing here. Let me know if you guys prefer that I film somewhere else so that it doesn't have this sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can definitely hear it. So anyways, to the video. <laughs> two kids, one and three, and I'm currently five months pregnant. So my mornings are kind of rushed and don't start at 8 a.m. when it comes to me getting ready. They start at 7, 6.30, 8 a.m., but they don't start with me. So I usually don't get around to getting myself ready until it's like between 11 and like three o'clock. And I'm not kidding. So I wanted to share with you guys what it'd be like for me to quickly get ready and be like presentable for the vlog and presentable for myself and Oscar and feel good about myself. But that also doesn't take 10 hours. Also, if you hear construction, it's because we're getting our basement finished and it's right below me and I just can't avoid the sound. They'll be here all day, so I can't tell them to leave for this video. However, I'm gonna start with my hair. I showered, I don't do that every day. I do that like every two to three days. I know, gross, huh? I put some products in my hair. I like to use oils for my hair. I just feel like it's really hydrating, so I use this oil. This is like an elixir one from Kerastasi. I can't pronounce that very well, but that oil along with the, it's a 10 and this one is a miracle leave-in product and then I usually use a heat protectant but I'm out. Okay, so now that my hair is blow dried, I can leave it like this, which I do sometimes, but since I have a little bit more time today, I am gonna curl it. And then I've been using this. I'm obsessed with this. This is the Orbi Dry Texturizing Spray. I put this on after I blow dry my hair. And it just kind of gives it like a good texture and also you can style your hair and it's like styling third day hair so it's easier and stays longer. I'm going to be using the Foxy Bay which I've used for I think two or three years now. The curling one I absolutely freaking love it. It looks like this and I love the rose gold with the black. The detailing is just super, super cute. I love it. It comes with like a million different wands. A million as in seven, but I really, really, really like this one. This is the widest barrel lens and I feel like it just looks the most natural. Not too crazy. Tight curls, you know, sometimes that's out of control. And then something I really like too is the cord. It comes with this like Velcro thing so it's easy to store and the cord doesn't get crazy. So it does have temperature control, which is super, super awesome. Not every curling iron has this. So for thicker or thinner hair, that's a great benefit. I'm trying to work on not talking so fast, so I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm realizing it's not working very well in this video. I'm talking very fast, so we're gonna talk slower. Okay, now that it's heated up, I'm going to curl away from my face. I know a lot of people do it differently and kind of go back and forth or however, but I curl away from my face. I hold it for like five to 10 seconds, and then I let go and I don't brush it out until my whole hair is done and cooled off. The size of the curl does matter on the barrel, but also it does matter on the amount of hair that you grab. The more hair that you grab, the less curled it's gonna be, if that makes sense. So if I grab a small amount of hair, it's gonna be like super ringlety, and I don't like that, so I try to grab a larger group of hair, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> to mention also about this curling iron is if you have thin hair like me it doesn't tend to hold curls but this rose gold titanium really helps your curls last longer because of the type of aluminum that it is basically <laughs> so it helps your curls stay longer but now that I finished um, this side's still kind of a little hot so I'm just gonna unravel this side of my hair and as you can see like they're natural waves nothing crazy but it looks like I put effort into my hair and it's not like overly done where it looks fancy because I do stay home for a lot of the time I work from home so to have my hair like super ringly curly just wouldn't make sense and then I'll go back in and fix parts of my hair that I don't like my right side I always your guys is left my right I always struggle to get it like the way I like it. I don't know why. I think it's just the angle that I curl it from or something. It just like doesn't do what I want it to do. But after I'm done with that, I either spray a little bit of hairspray, nothing crazy, because I don't want it to be crunchy, or you can use um, mousse, but I'm out of mousse, so I'm gonna use hairspray. I'm gonna use this Aussie brand. I've used this Aussie brand for 
girl forever just lightly and then I don't want to run my fingers through it anymore because I did run my fingers through it so much and you will lose curl the more you run through your hair literally every time you've seen my hair curled I've used this curling iron I highly recommend it I've used it for years and years and absolutely love it and if you use code kbaby click the link in the description and use code kbaby you will get 60% off site wide so that's that's a lot of money off honey we love the holidays for that but now that I'm done with that everything else is a lot quicker my hair usually does take the longest just because I don't know and I'm willing to take the longest on it I'm not willing to take a long time on my makeup because it usually just looks like crap by the end of the day so for my makeup it usually depends how I feel sometimes I'll go crazy sometimes I totally just do simple but I do like using bronzer especially in the winter because a girl is pasty white and I'm just gonna use this morphe m439 brush where did I even get this who knows because who knows? This is like the only Morphe brush I own right now. Weird. And I'm just gonna lightly put it on because I'm not wearing foundation. It would look weird if I put like a bunch of this on, but just, you know, some. And then if I really wanted to, I would use, I love, love, love the Age Rewind Eraser Sticks from Maybelline. Um, I'd put it under my eyes and put like a beauty blender, but again, we're not feeling that excited for today's makeup. Um, and then I'm going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is something that I do every day, put on mascara. I kind of want to get fake eyelashes again, but also it's really hard to keep up with, and I just don't have the time to once a week get them done for two hours. Like, I just don't really, I don't know. That's like... <laughs> I am really complaining about the simple things in life, but really, it's just like, it's a lot to maintain. They're very, very expensive, so I think I'll just stick to my um, voluminous mascara for now. This is the curved brush. This is the one that I, I'm looking this way because my mirror. Um, this is the one that I personally like. I don't go crazy, just a little bit, and then I don't, I used to put it on the bottom, but I only do that if I have foundation on, or it makes my eyes look really dark, because I already have bags on my eyes. We don't need dark ass mascara under there, too. So, as you can see, it's very simple. Sometimes I'll put some eyebrow pencil, but lately I've been really bad at doing my eyebrows. I don't really know what happened, but, um, something terrible. Then I'm gonna put Vaseline on my lips. I know it seems a bit odd that I use Vaseline instead of chapstick, but honestly, I feel like a lot of chapsticks make my lips worse. So, um, you know, I'm just going to use Vaseline. I'm going to use a Q-tip because, you know, we don't know what this is used for. Diaper rashes, you know, all that. Oscar, did you do my, get my bread yet? I just finished doing my hair. Sorry, it takes forever. I hate it. That's all I'm going to shave it. No, just the sides. so ugly. No, just the sides, no? No. Just give it a chance. I don't want to give it a chance. Why? Okay. Did you, did you hear the crap she talked to tells me? <laughs> I'm keeping this for the vlog. But that's pretty much it. My hair is done. My mascara is done. And that is as much effort as I'm willing to put today. I did already get dressed before this video, but usually I get dressed after. Um, but I wasn't wearing a bra. <laughs> and he didn't put a bra on for this video, so I figured I'd just get dressed. These days, all I can wear is leggings and a t-shirt. So, that's what I'm wearing. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I think that the door was closed and now it's open, but it was because Oscar came in and yeah. Really quickly before I end this video, um, I wanted to show you guys some of the face products I use. I know I didn't go into that, so I use the Olay Mist Calming. This is like a, I love these. They're so nice for just like to refresh your skin. So I'll use this for my skin. Um, or argan oil I use at night a lot because it's a thicker oil so it wouldn't look very good for daytime and then ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo, I use the vanity planet brush to cleanse my face whether it's in the shower or out of the shower I feel like that's pretty much it honestly I just feel like I never share exact product details oh the face lotion I have that Oscar just came in stole is the purity face lotion my skin has been so dry this summer so I've been using or summer hello what season are we in this fall yeah, fall slash summer. And so I feel like, um, I don't know where I was going with that. My, my face has been very dry. So yeah, I feel like it's helped a lot or the Cetaphil brand I really like too. Any other recommendations? Uh, I really, really like this stuff. I want you guys to know, I think this makes such a big difference. The curling iron that you use along with the or uh, with the Orby, the texturizing spray, like these two together just really, really work really well. I used to use dry shampoo in my hair to help my curls hold, but dry shampoo isn't very good for your hair to be honest, and um, I already use so much of it as it is, so I got this instead. My hairdresser recommended it, who dyes my hair. Love her, she does such a good job. 
Um, I use this. She recommended it to me, and it seriously like, changed my life. My curls stay so much longer. I'm talking days, people. Days. And then this really helps because of the heat control, and the titanium just really helps it stay longer. So, perfect pair. If you're looking for a pair type of thing for like if you're gonna gift this curling iron get that with it I will link everything down below um, and I think that's oh another hack last hack and that I'm really done is that dry shampoo does really help if your roots are kind of showing through I feel like the whiteness of it kind of hides the dark roots if you have blonde hair like me and the roots really show through I'm trying to give recommendations because I feel like I always just kind of speed through videos because I want it to be entertaining yeah I don't share any useful information so I'm I'm trying to share useful information. But that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to use code KBABY for 60% off the Foxy Bay curling iron. Curling wand. Curling iron. Wand. Iron. It's technically a wand. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!